guys, welcome back to Miss Nerdington's channel of Wargasm. Today we're going to be doing a review on the 4.9 by Tarsius. I got the brass version and I do have to say that this mod has overtaken my favorite mod, which was my Panzer for a while, and then my Valkyrie, by a huge margin. This mod is phenomenal. It blows all the other ones out of the water. It's a hybrid by nature, so my atomizer directly connects to my battery. And you can see my connector pin on the bottom through that top cap. This is the underside of the top cap. You can see it's got a little bit of a black plastic ring to kind of protect it from shorting out. It's silver top and a silver button. The button is silver with a female monkey on it. The Tarsius is a Tarsier type of monkey, which is the company name. It is called a 4.9 because in its smallest mode, you can see it's 49 millimeters. It's kind of a cool little thing about this mod. You can see this is part of the device button switch. It's all magnetic, so there's zero adjustments that you have to do, zero pins that you have to worry about being adjusted down to your battery to make a good connection. The voltage drop in this device is about 0.22, and the firing time is extremely quick. I'll give you a quick preview. So I've got a fully charged battery on here with about a 0.4, no, 0.5, excuse me, built ohm build on it and it just vapes like a dream. This device does vape a little bit differently than a normal hybrid like the Valkyrie, which was one I did in the previous review, and by meaning it... it's hard to explain. The Valkyrie puts out kind of a different flavor versus this is more true to the flavor that you get off of a regular device. So being able to switch it out for a tank hybrid type of device is phenomenal. I have a Kraken which matches perfectly with the brass. I have a brass Kraken and I love it. With the Jenny build, it's a super juice pour, but it's totally okay with me because I love the flavor, I love the vapor production, and I keep coming back for more. I've used this device for probably about a month and a half to two months. I wanted to get a really good feel for the device before I did a review for you guys. I haven't had any problems with the device other than when I first bought it, the button kind of felt a little crunchy, but after a couple days of use, it kind of broke the button in. So if you do end up purchasing this device and you're worried about the way your button feels, not to worry, it does break in fairly quickly. Uh, the only other thing I would have to complain about this device would be the top cap. You can see that they put two holes in to kind of prevent from any uh, RDA or RB getting stuck on there. But it does still happen. I have gotten my Kraken stuck on there. And I do have to say, if you're trying to get it off, whatever you do, do not use pliers. It will totally ruin your top cap because all it is is threading. And you don't want to have a lost top cap because then this device is pretty much null and void. You can see the black plastic piece right here protecting it from shorting out. This top cap is just hardly, hardly much. It's maybe three quarters width three like actual 25 quor cent quarters. This device breaks down into six different pieces so you can see one piece, two pieces, and you can see, I'll kind of get it close, the machining on these are perfect, it's seamless. This breaks down into two different tubes, so three pieces, four pieces since the button is a reverse polarity magnetic switch, five pieces and six pieces. This is the other half of the magnet and it's stuck inside your metal switch. So you can see that magnet there and you can see that magnet there. It does have a brass ring connector around the outside for a better conductivity and like I said it's a 0.22 voltage drop in this device. The only other complaint I would have to say is I have an issue being a girl with fingernails getting that button reseated in the bottom tube. So you just kind of have to work your way down and without fingernails, if it's just your base finger, it goes down pretty easy. But with fingernails, I have a little bit of an issue. I know, girl problems. Get that seated back in there, and you can kind of use the magnet on your battery to help seat that back in there. So by using that as the flat surface, it definitely makes it a quicker transition. So I'll start to reassemble it. I've got my two button pieces back in place. I'll put the first size in there, so that's 500 mode. Kind of give you a better look there. This is 18650. And you can see that battery still has a good amount of bounce to it. And then I'll put the top cap back on. 
So again, this is the 49 by Tarsius. Tarsius is a monkey and that is the company name and it is 49 because of the size and its smallest mode. This mod is considered to be a stealth mod, so it is a little bit smaller by nature. The button is super buttery once you get it nice and broken in. And it's got these nice half slot like cutouts on the bottom for perfect side finger firing. So your finger just fits perfectly in that hole. And the reaction time from the switch is phenomenal. Like I was saying earlier, I'll give you a couple more vapes to give you a good idea of what it seems like on my build, which is a 0.5 on a Patriot. Like I said, my new favorite mod, I'd like to send out a challenge for you to find a mod that I would like better. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe in the section below, right down there. And if there's any mods you'd like to see me review, go ahead and leave it in the comment section and I'll try and get a hold of that device as quickly as possible. I will also be doing a review soon of the Origin mod, so keep your ears open and wait for that review. It's good to see you and thank you for watching.